Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. We begin this week with big banking news. Old National Bank Corp and First Midwest Bank Corp announcing plans to merge in an all-stock deal valued at about $6.5 billion. It would create the sixth largest bank in the Midwest among the top 30 of straight banking institutions in the country with some $45 billion in assets. With details on what the deal means for Evansville and Indiana, I'm pleased as always to welcome to the show Old National Chairman and CEO Jim Ryan and uh, Jim, uh, thanks for joining us. I know you're in Chicago now. Uh, thanks for joining us and co congratulations on the deal. Well, thank you. And it's always great to be with you. We always appreciate your support. Uh, let's talk about this, Jim. A big deal, certainly, uh, for Old National uh, would uh, create uh, a, a banking company, combined assets of $45 billion, sixth largest bank in the Midwest. Uh, when the courtship start, how did this, uh, this uh, deal start to come together? So the courtship really started back in January of this year where um, Mike uh, Scudder, who's the CEO and chairman of First Midwest, uh, came for a visit. And we were just talking about what we were doing independently and how we were uh, working on creating uh, value for all of our stakeholders. And in that conversation, we realized, boy, we might be able to do this together uh, better than we could do it individually. And so we really started conversations really just about how we could get better individually, uh, and that turned into how we could get better collectively. Again, this is creating a large banking institution. You hope to close the deal by the end of the year, perhaps early uh, next year. Sixth largest uh, bank in the Midwest, a top 30 banking uh, company uh, in the country. What does that mean, uh, Jim, when you look at the impact of, of a much larger institution uh, on uh, Evansville and the state of Indiana? Well, I told the governor that I am 100% committed to Evansville. I'm 100% committed to our state of Indiana. And, um, you know, this only means good things, I think, ultimately, you know, for Evansville and for the broader state. It also allows us to serve, you know, there's so much business that moves back and forth in the Midwest. It really allows us to serve a larger client base in a bigger and better way. It allows us to invest in more talent and more technology, ultimately to deliver better experiences for all of our clients and, and, and reinvest back in our communities. And deals like this, there are always uh, efficiencies uh, uh, that uh, that are to be had, uh, certainly. As you look at the tea leaves, though, at this deal, the old national name uh, remains, so the old national uh, brand uh, will be what is used. You will continue to be CEO of the combined bank. You'll be in Evansville. So a lot of things point, I, I think, in a positive way to in terms of the impact of this deal, again, on Evansville and Indiana. Absolutely. You know, we've grown a lot in the last 10 years, and we've really tried to leverage the best of every single one of our partnerships, and this is no different. Uh, we're coming together uh, with a new partner. It's a big partner, uh, and we're going to have a lot of assets and a lot of customers up here in the Chicago metropolitan market. Um, but we'll leverage those across our entire footprint, our entire franchise, and only serves to strengthen our company. You know, this year we're going to turn 187 years old, and uh, I see it as my job is to make sure we're around for another 187 years. Yeah. What, what does this mean uh, uh, for the bank? Because you're adding uh, what would be your largest market, certainly in Chicago, you're uh, in, in throughout Indiana, multiple states, but to Chicago, a very large market. What, uh, what does that bring to the bank? Well, you know, if you look at the GDP, um, it's, it's pretty phenomenal in the size of this market, right? The numbers of small businesses uh, that are here today and that open each day, uh, if you look at the household wealth, it's pretty phenomenal. And it's the best in the Midwest um, and, and one of the strongest uh, markets in the entire country. And so for us, you know, we have a significant presence and some of our largest operations today are in Minneapolis and Madison and Milwaukee. And so this really just helps tie uh, you know, our legacy footprint of serving Indiana with our newest markets in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. So we're so excited to really help fill in. The picture's worth a thousand words, and for us, this really just helps, fills in a pretty significant gap we had in terms of our footprint and franchise. Yeah, any particular segment uh, of the bank to, to benefit more on this, the commercial uh, lending segment, any, any particular uh, segment of banking to, to really benefit from this uh, combination? Absolutely. You know, we do a few things better than they do, and they do a few things better than us. And one of the things they do pretty well is they have some real niche businesses um, where, and this, particularly in the commercial space, um, and, and I think we're going to be able to leverage those across our entire footprint and just be better experts in some of those businesses. Um, you know, we're also going to have one of the seventh largest wealth management platforms wow. with more than $30 billion in assets under management uh, when we put the two companies together. And so we're really excited about delivering 
a better wealth management experience for all of our clients. Yeah, very, we only have about 20 seconds left, Jim, but uh, closer to your home in Evansville, Southwest Indiana, a lot of momentum there. Uh, massive uh, expansion continues at Toyota, very global. Uh, a lot of things uh, happening close to home that you got to be pretty happy about. Uh, that's fantastic. I think this is a part of that, that success story of Southwest Indiana. And I, what I'm really proud of is all of our leaders have come together, both on the public and private side, to really turn out, and you know, Tail 2025 is a big initiative for us. How do we make Southwest Indiana a better part of our state? And how do we make sure that everybody shares equally in those opportunities? All right, Jim Ryan, the chairman and CEO at Old National Bank, a big uh, merger deal with First Midwest. Jim, thanks for joining us from Chicago. Look forward to seeing you soon.